Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, the 31st chapter and the third verse, The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. I came to let you know tonight that's good news. We serve a God that did not give us what we deserved. When we were dead in our trespasses, when we were dead in our sins, when we were out there, most of us in the world, doing whatever we wanted to do, God could have judged us right then. God could have allowed us to die in our sin. But this God that we serve, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, he decided to draw us back, hallelujah, with his loving kindness. And how did he show how much he loved us? The Bible says in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. This is the God that we serve. Yes, he could wipe us out in anything else with a thought. Hallelujah. That's how powerful our God is. But he desires to love us. What is man that God is even mindful of us? This God that is eternal, this God that is holy, this God that is righteous and just and faithful and true, he loves us and he invites us in to have a relationship with him. And again, I want you to know tonight, that's good news. I never want to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.